Oh man, that imp is going crazy. He is trying to threaten Clement right now. Very similar to the imp that's actually on the battlefield. Uh, they're very annoying after a while. <laughs> they do have some uh, spectacular yeah. voices. Very endearing in the beginning. You're like, oh, so cuddly, so cute. Do you want to give me your imp impression? No. And then very similar to Sir Action Slack. After a while, hmm, too much, too much Sir Action maybe, Slack. Maybe he's the voice of the imps. That what would explain everything. I would not be surprised. <laughs> so our challenger goes for the blue-black aggressive deck, which honestly, against the less than uh, usual amount of life total, a pretty smart choice. Yeah, I think it's kind of like secret OP against the champion, right? I absolutely agree. Because you're trying to push down towers. You already have 10 damage done for you. For if free. You, yes, if you play perfectly, if you like get that lane going, you're going to win. Yeah. But um, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, Sorla Khan meets uh, Heath the Bold. Keith, Keith strong. Unfortunately, it's also, this is a very tough matchup. Yeah. These are the only games I've played today. <laughs> Black and blue versus red and blue. Extremely hard because once you get to that turn seven or turn eight, you have big spells coming at you in every lane. You have uh, Eclipse, you have Echo Slam, you have the Time of Triumph. These are all things that red and, uh, sorry, black and blue doesn't really have a toolkit to answer for. I think ideally you're trying to close out the game before it ever gets that point, which, yes. you know, sometimes you just don't draw your deck in the right order, uh, which can be very difficult. Right, sometimes Sorla just dies turn one and uh, you're missing out on some crucial damage you might yep. wish you had later. Okay, just a simple attack here for both the players. With six ghosts or action, Slack can buy some of the kind of early game item. Think of your sword swords and traveler's cloaks. We'll see what he does end up picking up or just chooses to save his gold. Yeah, looks like both players are going to just have their Zeus deploy. And Slack decides to put his in the first lane and Clement into the mid lane. Yep. So the one thing I've learned yesterday while playing this blue-black aggressive deck Ooh. is that it's it's very tough to play your assault ladders properly. Yes. As we see an arrow just granted by Gaben himself uh, <laughs> right onto Yamoy. Ooh, yeah, Clement's not happy to see that. Um, he could choose to frostbite here. Yep. Um, that will he almost save has Yamoy. to frostbite here. Yeah. That bristle uh, will also get that proc too if he kills your boy Yamoy. Unfortunately, as well, for this second lane that Zeus is facing against Keith. So he had a chance to perhaps land that Zeus in any of these other slots, but didn't win the toss up there. Yep. And I do want to kind of go back to the assault ladder point real fast. Currently, the assault ladder is doing nothing. Nothing at all. And you don't know if this is really the lane that you will be pushing for eventually. So it's always a kind of a, a big gamble if you're going to do turn one or turn two Assault Ladder. Yep. If anything, I think Assault Ladders, even though you have the nice. mana to play it, it's a late game card. It's definitely a late game card. Um, you want to put it into the lane where you see you have that wide amount of creeps. You have Sorla Khan, maybe. Ooh, nice Ooh. swap here. So that means he's still disarmed, but that does mean in the future... He's going to hit Yamoy. Yeah, Yamoy is... Uh, <laughs> I hope he has him. more Frostbites. Right. Uh, but I do like that play from Slacks too, casting that Ventriloquy early so that Zeus is passive also procced, and that also put that uh, creep in range for being killed by Zeus with that three attack. Okay. So there can be a series of creeps that our challenger casts. Ogolodi Vandal is probably the safest and simplest. For sure. Yeah. Disciple of Nevermore, I feel like this card is something that you only play once you have that nice wide lane that can threaten the tower. Ooh, Sir Action oh. Slack. Use Ventriloquy. One would say one would say it's an on purpose play, but looking at his real life reaction, I think he misclicked. <laughs> Honestly, it's not a bad play at all. You're using one spell on Luna's life to block a ton of damage against an aggro deck. Right, and this this deck wants to hit the tower. Good play, Slacks. Next level. I, I don't know if he, again, wanted to, but I think it's a good play. This imp knows what he's doing. Yeah. So now we have two heroes coming out for our challenger. He's got the Sorla Khan and Crystal Maiden. Now, where does he want to go? Last lane is looking pretty open. That's a good place for Sorla to start hitting towers. Uh, but other than that, what lane are you going to want to try to win here? Maybe that, uh, that mid lane? Okay. I like Sorla going on the first lane because that guarantees a favorable trade. 
against the Zeus. Yep, there's only one place that Sorla can go, and it's to Zeus's face. Yep, I also like the fact that he doesn't commit any more resources to the last lane because he has an overwhelming advantage already. Yes, and he can consider putting down that Disciple in that last lane, so yep. he now sees it's uncontested. Ooh, Vandal's a amazing card here. Again, just a creep, pressures the tower by four. And it has a play effect, which um, I believe of all these decks, it might be the only one with a play effect. I think the the green decks have the Smeevil. Oh, uh, the Smeevil also yeah, has that. Has yep. a play effect that gives one armor. Play effect are cards that when it comes into play, it does something. So in this case, the Vandal does four damage to the tower, which that's exactly what you want from an aggressive deck. You want a body and you want some direct damage. Yep, and he's looking, thinking about putting that Vandal right here, and he gets that 25% chance of going to the left. I'm not sure if he wants the arrow. I don't think he wants it. Yeah. Again, with the aggro deck, you want to try to hit the buildings. Um, in this case, with that 25% chance of getting that directional arrow to Bristle, he's now doing a little more damage to him, but it's it's not going to really matter. Bristle's going to get the armor from killing Jamoy. And Sunspan, uh, sorry, Slax, decides to tr trade with that, uh, that pillager there. Oh, grazing shot could be big here. If you graze down the 4-2, then yes. you're hitting for 4 to the face. Yes, that is actually a great mechanic. You see that... Uh, Slax had drawn aggro with this uh, pillager. Yep. Uh, but now, since uh, the Oglody Vandal is going straight, if you grazing shot that uh, that pillager, he's going to be hitting the tower. Oh. Keeps going straight. Okay. Clement decides not to do that. Yeah, he'll save the grazing he'll save shot. Save the grazing shots. And uh, grazing shot is like, not never bad to have because it allows you the ability to push for damage by removing blockers. But I, that was the case to do exactly that. Mid lane, big, big push here from Sir Action Slack. He could even add to the pressure by playing Red Mist Pillager. That's right, and uh, it's going to be a pretty hard lane for uh, Black and Blue to deal with. Okay, but nothing. Not to, uh, well, he'd have already cast that Tower Barrage, so he couldn't cast Oh, right, no mana. Excuse no me. No mana. All right, so this is where Disciple is going to be coming down, I imagine, Save and that is a lot of damage coming through. 25, yep, just exactly enough. Plus one. Yeah, to, to get the tower. He could still choose to grazing. Nope. Don't <laughs> grazing know. shot, um, if he wanted to, could go into the uh, the other lane, but eh, it's not really doing too much for him. He could have. Uh, yeah, there's nothing he could have really killed that would have mattered. Right. Kinfo musket. Uh, it's a grazing shot on a stick, essentially, <laughs> and it's just always a good item to have if you're playing this aggressive deck. The the number that you generally want to get to is four somehow, right? Yes. So, musket give you two. Grazing shot give you two. That's why Steam Cannon is also such a valuable tool for an aggro deck like this, because it does four and allows you to remove that blocker. Totally. And as this game goes on, uh, we're going to see a lot of the cards that Slags has in his hand right now uh, become quite scary. Uh, I know our challenger is probably looking to win that first lane, because yep. that second lane is getting quite wide, and there's not much you can do. If the fact that there is no Eclipse in Sir Action Slags' hand is also a welcome sight here for our challenger. Yeah, that never happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sorla Khan looks like is going to eat it. Yep, Sorla. Or uh, the Bristleback used his phase boots. That allows you to swap a hero with another ally. So just swap on over and keep eating up that armor. Now, let's not forget about the alternate win condition that he also has to his uh, yes. The final lane, right? So the final lane currently pushing for 25. You could add more to that by playing the untested grunt. You could com commit your Keenfo musket to that lane as well. Absolutely, and you can uh, hope for more creeps. Yeah. Uh, assault ladders haven't been drawn yet, sure. uh, but Clement's gonna go ahead and put that uh, grunt in the first lane to kill that melee creep. But yes, I think that's definitely uh, a play that you should consider when uh, when you're playing this kind of uh, push or siege deck. Yep. Um, you can try to go for the Ancient because, you know, right now this lane is not threatened. Um, but the other thing that's really unfortunate for Clement is no next turn is turn seven. And there is a perfect counter for wide lanes such as this. Yep. So Grazing Shot going to fire towards the mid lane to protect the Crystal Maiden. Not exactly sure how valuable Crystal Maiden's life is at this moment. Yes, especially with that lane looking quite, getting, it's getting out of control. Mm -hmm. So 
having a hero alive there might actually not be good because you want to have as much resources as possible to deploy into your other lanes. Okay, Red Mist Pillager is going to come out. Q4 Ooh, Musket or Great Shot. That's a great card to play right now. May as well shoot down that Pillager, prevent it from doing any more damage to that tower. Okay, it's going to be grazing a shot here. Grazing shot instead. And the Imp is panicking, writhing in pain again in his seat. I honestly think he should have equipped the gun and also shot at the Luna. The reason being is that you put Luna down to four health and you have a Thunder Gun in hand. You That's could, true. Somehow, if you get priority, you could flip this board and start pushing for damage. This game's all about that math. Yeah. Getting people to that sweet four health area, you can always play around your own Thunder Gods. Yeah. Now, here's also a very decisive moment in the game. Does our challenger give up priority? By casting anything here, he will give it up, and that means... That means Slax is going to have initiative in that first lane. Yeah, and he has Echo Slam, like you mentioned. So he does do that. that. Okay. He is thinking about that play that we were talking about, of potentially just going all in on that last lane. But uh, Then I, I feel like he half committed, right? The untested Grunt could yes. have gone to the last lane it as could well. Have. Yeah. I think, again, that's also one of the things while, when you um, first start playing, you see cards that are playable in the lane, uh, but perhaps uh, you don't necessarily zoom out or play for the long term and think about maybe putting it in yeah. another lane. I mean, I, I I make this mistake too. Yes. You just get scared. You're like, well, if I don't commit some cards here, I might just die. But sometimes you just have to make the decision, look, I just have to go full YOLO yeah. into that Yeah, you have to lane. just like bank it on your win condition because as right. an aggro deck, this is your only chance. And exactly. Yeah, I think, you know, that's probably the best way to play around it. Yep. So there is a little bit interesting mind game now between the two players. Where will Slax deploy his he blue hero? And it's going to be the last lane. He for also sure. understands that the only way he could lose right now is getting rushed down for 80. So he just want to make sure that he could deploy Echo Slam and, and call it a day. Yep, and unfortunately, black and blue doesn't have a way to prevent Zeus from casting that spell, even if he is uh, he's, uh, frostbitten. Mm -hmm. That means you can still cast spells, but yep. Sarm. Uh, no coup de gras no in this No coup de gras. Deck. Okay. Now, looks like. Still very rare that we don't see an Eclipse in hand. Generally, yeah. this is where Eclipse kind of takes over the game. Dimensional Portal, though, a very good one if he decides to want to pressure. Now, remember last when I said that you, that, that Luna could have been the four health and Thunder yes. God could have cleaned it up, but... It's not the case. Um, if he does play the Dimensional Portal, it would save Jamoy, though. Okay. Uh, that uh, The melee creep that gets summoned in front of Bristle, since it's going to have to go in front of Bristle and Luna and either the left or right. You know one thing that he can do, which will be the sickest move ever? Yes. So he Thunder God's here. He activates Jamoy's ability, right? The wisdom of the elders. He draws another Thunder God. <laughs> and then on the mid lane, he casts Thunder God from, from there and kills a Zeus on the last lane and push for lethal. Easy. The, the writing is there. It's, it's all there. I he believe has all the in tools. you. Just well, make sure you press the button. He passed without pressing the button. Oh, so. no. Again, this is, this is probably one of the things that we've seen the most of. There are active abilities. Yes. Um, from items, from heroes. Thank you. If, you, if you see it glowing, consider clicking it. OK. One more chance to click it. Click it. Click the button. Everyone yell at him to click the button. <laughs> click the button. Hey. Yay, we did it. Not Thunder God's Wrath. All right, so no win, no win condition. No. <laughs> we tried. We, we tried, tried our best, yeah. It could have been glorious. Yes, I mean, that would have been pretty sick. And I, I don't want to make it seem like we're making fun of the players. Yes. Because it, 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 there are just so many decisions that you have to think about constantly on multiple boards. So it's often very tough to see all of the lines of play. Yep. It's a very complex game, and there's a lot going on. Yeah. He could actually kill, uh, survive here if he yes. casts both Dimensional Portal and Strafing Run. Those two procs of the Static Field will kill Keef the boat. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if he does it. It's a good time to cast Strafing Run anyways. There's yes. so many creeps. There you go. And now he clears oh, the board, survives nice. the nine health. It's not over just yet. It's coming around. And he has Sorla and Crystal Maiden coming out next round. Yep. So if he wants to, he could deploy that. And Slax has none. Yeah. He's putting him at 15. If Slax does not get a Blink Dagger, he can't lose this game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
suddenly the tables have turned. Suddenly danger. With this Zeus sitting in such a perfect block. Yeah. He's, he's like the king of these creeps right now. Three on either side. But yeah, looking here, Slax is like... He passes. He passes. No Thunder God. Or sorry, no... Uh, you know what I mean. No Echo, no Echo Slam. Slam. So now I think Steam Cannon can de get deployed and start... Slax is looking for initiative in the first lane. So let's see what that gets him. Initiative for what, though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am not entirely sure because he has no heroes coming out in the next round. And in the first lane, he just has this uh, Bristle and Luna, and there's... I no. think I think Slax is gambling it all on a Blink Dagger on the Psy Shop. You buy it and you get to Blink mid with it. Truly? <laughs> I mean, that is his only way to survive, so I don't blame him. Yeah. Uh, he does not have Blink Dagger. He's hovering on that side shop as well. We see the Imp raising his, his hands in, in frustration. This has been pretty close, and it was surprising how that mid lane just with it's all those around. creeps there and that strafing run. It was actually thanks to him clicking that button to get that strafing run. He That's did not, right. He, he didn't have Jamoy it in hand. Jamoy coming in. <laughs> Jamoy coming thanks in big. Thanks to you guys for cheering, for, uh, Click the button. for clicking the button. He got the perfect answers for winning that second lane. Yep. And now he's threatening lethal on both lanes, mid and the right. And it doesn't really it doesn't matter. matter because Slax doesn't have any heroes. Yeah, no that. blink dagger, unfortunately, no for him to, to move here. And this is also, it really exhibits a, another very deep component of artifact. If you put your heroes at the wrong side and they're just stuck there, then, yeah, then that's it. Yeah, you're just stranded for a long time. He could time a triumph, but that's still not enough to kill the tower. I, I think Slax will time a triumph just for the, the glorious... The glorious animation. Yes. There it is. There four attack, four armor, four health, four cleave, four retaliate, four siege, but still only 21 damage. Yep. And the blue-black aggressive deck is going to do it. It's going to do it. Yeah. I think this is the first time this might have uh, won against the challenger. Yeah, I, I think the blue-black aggressive deck is actually really, really good against the champions yes. because, like you said, they just have 10 less health to work with. It's like a whole turn. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't want to discount that uh, health de deficit. <laughs> <laughs> 10 health is a lot. A fourth of what you have to work with. Yep. Big hit in. Big hit in, but doesn't matter. These are bigger hits. I think Clement should just start the BM right now. He could uh, start, start off. equipping items. He could shoot off as the melee creep. No, he doesn't have a black hero. No, no, no. He's got the guns. Oh, the guns. Yes, Zeus yeah. with a gun. <laughs> Frightening. He's gonna do it. Just keep using your spells. Is the BM <laughs> gonna come out? Equipping, uh, equipping items. Equipping yeah, items. Sure. Look at all these cell. things I have. Healing salve, a creep. You know, shoot your own creep. The next level BM here is, is truly... I mean, this moment is his. He could milk it for as long as possible, you know? Yeah. Healing salve that creep. There you go. It's just humiliating slags right now. This imp can't take it much longer. I gotta say, there today is. is not looking good for the championship. Yeah. Because... Uh, Give it up for Clement. I gotta good say, job. the beginning of that game looked really good for Slacks, but did. I think this game really showcased what the blue-black deck could do, just out of nowhere. Yes, you and... You see 20 damage. 